earlier in the series we talked about why you stuck with Wade Neckler mm -hmm. and with the base loaded against a lefty. Base is loaded against a lefty tonight. You decided to pinch it Slater for him. Mm -hmm. um, what changed, if anything, in, in that decision? I'm, I'm absolutely happy to make the distinction, but I'm just curious if, if you know the distinction. Is it just Slater versus Ramos? Yeah, I mean, this is not a disrespect to Ramos in any way, but I think Ramos has like four career pinch hit at bats. Slater's one of the best pinch hitters in baseball. So I don't mind, of course, explaining something, but I just sometimes wonder if the, the question is, hey, can you say it? Or if you really, if that distinction isn't, isn't clear. I'm, I'm just curious about that. Slater hasn't been hitting awesome either. He has a more of a track record share, but... Would you agree that he's one of the five best right-handed pinch hitters over the course of the last three or four years? Yeah. Do you think there's that make that creates a distinction between him and a guy that has four career pinch hit at bats? Sure. Okay, so I'm I'm not criticizing you at all. I'm just wondering if what you're asking is for me to say that, or if like whether or not there's a distinction at all for you. I think it was a similar situation, so I think people would be interested to learn sure. and hear you explain it. Yeah, and so, I mean, again, Slater's one of the, the best pinch hitters in baseball, particularly against left-handed pitching over the course of the last three seasons. And so in that situation, we trust that he's going to go up there and have a good at-bat. He didn't. He ground it into a double play. But I had him go up there because he's really, really good at that just has had a stretch where he hasn't had a lot of success.